this is how to breed roly polies if you have reptiles to feed them to. So this is my roly poly tank. They are also sometimes called pill bugs and isopods. But I call them roly polies. So in the bottom here, I have eco earth, moistened eco earth. And then I took and put some moss in. Roly polies really like moss, especially the babies. They love to hide in it. But I have moss everywhere. I even have some a rock with moss on it. And they eat just about anything. They will eat decaying wood, soft decaying wood. They will eat dead leaves and just about anything else. My roly polies really like apples. That's what's in there now. But they will eat mold, which that's what they do out in the wild. But you want to give them lots of hiding spaces, like I did. There's a bunch of rocks, lots of climbing spots, like all these sticks. But there's a bunch of hiding spots, like in the moss, under all the bark. You can give them walnut shells. They like to hide in it with the, the ones with little holes on the inside. They like to hide in them. I have a little path here. They do have gills, so you want to keep it nice and wet, not soaked, but moist. Spray it maybe like every other day or when it starts to get dry. If you spray it every other day, only spray it a little bit. But when it starts to get dry, you want to spray it a decent amount, not a lot, that it's soaked, just a little bit, that it's moist and wet but not soaked so i gave them gave them lots of hiding spots some lots of food and i spray it as needed and sometimes i'll spray it every other day but if you catch them from outside. You just put them in the tank once you have it prepared and they'll just breed. And then you have plenty. But they are also called potato bugs. But they are called plenty of things. But like I said, a quick recap. You should put Eco Earth they do like to dig, so you can put eco-earth, um, you can put wet decaying wood in and lots of hiding spots and climbing spots, but I have had this for a while, not a super long time, but I've had it for a good amount good while but if my camera will focus you can see some of the babies there you can see some there crawling around the babies are super small they look like grains of rice but if you keep getting some from outside and putting them in that'll that will keep them from inbreeding 
and inbreeding is not a good thing. They can start getting disorders and stuff. But like I said, they like to dig. Right there's one if my camera fo will focus. Digging there, there's some up there. But they are everywhere. So as long as you give them lots of climbing places, hiding places, and make sure you keep them, you give them some food and spray them as needed or every other day, they'll do awesome. So comment down below if you like this and it helped you out any. Thank you.